Hey everybody, it's Ashley here from Southern Plains Life, and I just got off teleworking, and today I decided I think I'm going to grill some pork chops right there. So that's what we're going to do uh, for this video, is grill some pork chops on the grill outside. Haven't done much grilling lately, been kind of stuck in the house. Over the winter we've used the crock pot a little bit more in the Instapot, but today it's grilling time. All right, outside finally. It's kind of a long day again. But, like I said, we're always blessed, and it is a beautiful day in Oklahoma. A little windy, but that's to be expected. It'll be windy here probably to the end of June. It's just kind of the norm. It was so windy, I've already had to bring the, the uh, grapevine plant in. I just had it on the edge of the porch, but, you know, a couple of video go, videos ago, I, I planted this into the, the pot here, and you can see how the wind is already just kind of just battered this thing. So I brought it into the porch so it gets out of the wind a little bit. I, I think it'll be all right. And again, you know, this one didn't have any leaves on it, so it'll be fine. But I think here in a couple of days, it'll probably uh, liven up a bit. It'll still get the Eastern sun, so it should be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this grill. I said I haven't started in a while, so I hope the, uh, the igniter still has the battery or the battery is still good in it. I guess we'll find out. Oh, oh, we have ignition. We got flames. All right, we'll let this warm up. So here's the above garden I started last summer. As you can see, I still haven't really got that far, you know, priorities, things like that in life pop up. Um, you know, it's a nice to have for me right now. You know, I really concentrate on the family stuff and this is just kind of a, a hobby. I like doing woodworking and gardening, but originally I was planning on, I had this built so that the riding or the uh, push mower could get underneath it, but I'm thinking about cutting it off here. Um, maybe an inch or two below this and just going ahead and having it on the ground. And what I was really thinking about is I really need to get my children involved, helping out a bit with that. And if it's this tall here, they can't reach it when the, the plants get this tall. So I think that's why I'm gonna go ahead and cut it and just uh, put it down on the, on the ground, just make it a, a uh, above ground garden. All right, we're at sizzling temperature. Let's get the grilling. Pick that one. All right, it's already smelling great. Man, it smells great. Let's shut it. All right, it's been about five minutes. Time to do the first flip. Probably could have cooked a little longer on this side. 
Oh well, we'll get there. That smells great. Here we go. Here's the second turn. Oh, yeah. Look at that juice. Yep. Looking good. Smelling wonderful. Oh, yeah. Look at that sizzle. Grilling and sizzling. Oh yeah, some space in there. There we go. Woo, we got some flaming up here. Might be in a little trouble there. Hopefully it just started. Get this out of here. All is well though. All is well. I want that burn off a little bit. Oh, it's still looking like it needs to cook a little bit more. Everything is looking delicious. On there is a little small. I might put that one up there. There's that one. All right, about another five. Should be good. All right. The chops should be done. Ooh, look at that. Grilled pork chops. Oh yeah. They smell delicious. Thanks for watching the video. Just a quick short grilling some chops up today just to feed the kiddos. Um, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks a lot.